Welcome to Words of Wisdom Wednesday. Hey, this is my second go around, and I'm already excited to share something with you. After I had uh, last Wednesday's proverb of the day devotion, I had a really interesting experience. So you might remember last Wednesday, our proverb was that pair of proverbs that seemed to say two different things. Answer not a fool according to his folly, lest you join him. Then answer a fool according to his folly, lest he be wise in his own eyes. Sort of an example for us of making sure that we understand how wisdom works, that wisdom is taking information and applying it to a world that is complicated. So wisdom is knowing the difference between those two moments. As soon as that devotion went out, I had a voicemail from one of our members, friend, Carl. Carl was an official, is an official, including some time in the NFL. And um, he said, he said, hey, you know what that reminded me of? He said, as an official, kind of got to know some coaches over the years. And you know that some coaches, when they're shouting and yelling, frustrated with you with, because of the call that you made, that it doesn't matter what you say to them. They're, they're just going to keep yelling. They're, there's nothing you can do to change their mind. He said, on the other hand, there are some other coaches who they might be hollering, they might be red in the face, they might be screaming, calling you all sorts of names. And if you go over and explain yourself, that they're capable of learning, capable of understanding. The reason I thought that was so cool is because that's exactly how Proverbs are supposed to work. You and I learn a proverb, and then we do what we see here on the page. We reflect on the past. We see how that design of God for how life is lived in this world plays out. And seeing how that works, it gives us direction for the future. And in learning how to look back on the past, see God's design for life, looking into our future, for finding guidance for our future, that's called maturity. That's growth. That's a really good thing. I was so happy to hear that. So if any time these proverbs bump into your mind as something you find interesting, send me an email, send me a text, call me, let me know. That, that's how it works. And that's a very cool thing. Today's proverb is something that is going to help us in these ways. It will remind us that the way that the world sees things isn't necessarily the right way that you and I ought to see things as God's children. A way of saying that is something like this, that outward appearances don't always convey reality. And that's something that you and I need to remember all the time, come to grips with all the time, that as followers of Jesus in this world, not only is the way the world sees things not always line up with the way we're supposed to see things because it's the way God sees things, we're actually called to a countercultural approach to life, that our way of functioning in this world, of being wise in this world, might not just not line up perfectly with the way the world does it. We have to be ready to be countercultural and say, hey, the way the world does things is often stupid. We're going to do things a different way. Here's today's proverb. Better is a poor man who walks in his integrity than a rich man who is crooked in his ways. I think that's a good one. I like that one a lot. Reminder that oftentimes when you and I make quick judgments on people, we might look at someone who from outward appearance looks like they have everything put together. They've got everything that they need, maybe everything that we want. And we make a judgment on their intelligence, their success, Maybe we even extend that to their character, thinking that somehow um, they must be double blessed because they're double righteous. But the truth is, is that none of those things are what truly make us rich. Better off having your integrity than having loaded bank accounts, but being a person of poor character. Think about that. Ponder that. Think about your past. Look for some guidance for your future. Let me know. Here's our closing prayer. Lord, help me to be wise, not according to the world's standards, but according to yours. Help me to choose daily the way of wisdom and the way of Jesus. Amen. Happy Wednesday. Good being with you. See you next time.